Hula is the language of the heart, and therefore the heartbeat of the Hawaiian people. And we tell our dancers, everything needs to dance. Your hair, your toenail, your eyelashes, it needs to dance. Within three days, the competition tickets are sold out. Those tickets are like gold. They only bring the best of the best, and so we're very honored to be able to participate. The most prestigious part of Mary Monarch is the Miss Aloha Hula competition, which is the women's solo competition. 12 halals are allowed to choose their very best dancer. Our contestant this year is Kaylee Kaiulani Carr. Kaiulani is a professional hula dancer, and we chose her for many different reasons. We wanted her to grow, not just a dancer, but as a person. One of my favorite parts about Mary Monarch Week is that we go to Kilauea to pay respects to Pele, who is the fire goddess, the goddess of creation. And it really puts into perspective where you are in this world and in this hula journey. I've wanted to be in Mary Monarch since I was a little kid. There was a lot of times where I thought I would never, it would never happen for me, but pretty much most of my hula journey has been working towards this moment, which is tomorrow. <laughs> Professionally, I've been doing it since 2009. There's a difference between dancing hula in halau and dancing hula professionally. Dancing for the tourists is like American Chinese and not the authentic <laughs> Chinese food. At hotels, here's what you'll see. Beautiful men and women, brightly colored hair pieces and lays, which are all plastic, but you won't see the skill. You won't see the love that you would at the Mary Monarch Festival. For Mary Monarch, we practice every day for, I would say, three to four months. They're intense. Can we try to end one more time? Why are you guys waiting? Invitation, you need one invitation. Come on, you guys, get your head game on. The biggest misconception about hula is that it's easy. All hula dancers, and you can quote me on this, have bad knees. All of them. So when you see a beautiful hula dancer that's gliding across the stage, she's hurting. She's hurting really bad because nobody walks around with bent knees, you know, six inches off the ground. Blisters, you get blisters on your feet. Every single part of your body needs to work. You should be gasping for air, but you can't. You need to look exactly the same as when you first started. If you can bend your knees and sway your hips and have this upper body carriage that's really upright but make it look effortless, that's a true hula dancer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Aloha Hula Competition. Kaylee Kailani Carr. If I gave the performance of a lifetime, if I gave everything I had to that one performance, those 14 minutes up there, just me, I've already won. just a vessel for all of these people that came before you, for all of the knowledge that you have, and it's your responsibility to share that. It's your responsibility to perpetuate. But it would be so nice to hear my name <laughs> being called. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aloha for 2016, Kaylee Kaiwalani Carr. You know, I don't dance hula just to be a missile hula. I do it because, it's just because I love it.
And I, I, I can't explain to you why I do. I think, I think it's something you're just born with.